so here we left last time we are fetching notebooks from our database now in this video we want to create a form uh, so that we can create a new notebook so let's start so uh, before uh, going I want to create a little thing so uh, while this is loading instead of showing black screen uh, we want to show loading okay so in order to do that uh, we need to go to uh, example component so this component is example component create a simple div saying loading and we want to show uh, this so we want to show this only when uh, there is loading variable all right so we need to create that here loading so initially that will be false so here we'll make this true now uh, when this component is mounted we want to make this true so this start loading equals to true and uh, when our this uh, ajax request is successful uh, we will make that uh, false this start loading equals to false all right so that's working there's a little html mistake here all right uh, now let's create a form okay so first i'll create here a button called create notebook uh, so actually when we hit that create notebook that should load a view or component okay so let's first make the form component inside our resource js components actually we'll just steal the code from here uh, i'll make uh, make this as form dot view so inside here i'll make a uh, simple bootstrap form okay so uh, now our component is done so let's uh, use that in our route.js alright so let's go to route.js and create new one so I'll create new object like and this will be create and this should point to form okay so now we have new route called create so we can use that route so the example is home so let's name this home uh, that shouldn't confuse us so we need to change that in our route.js actually we don't need them since we are using view router so let's go to home and let's add that button so we can add it like here we can make new row and let's give it class pull right uh, create so here we, we have to create the router link we can copy that from nav so here we have already these router links and inside home will put that so we don't need ally deck this time just and here it will be create notebook and this should uh, reader sorry point to create and here uh, we, we can give it class like button button primary so that it looks good so now if we refresh we should see button yeah here it is 
so when we click it we, uh, we can see the form all right so now our form is ready uh, when we hit submit it is just pointing us to this route which is not found so we need to prevent so let's go to form and here inside here form and we when someone submits we want to prevent the default action and we want to run the function uh, add notebook all right so this method we want to run whenever someone hits uh, the submit button so let's create that method down below methods so this will also uh, send the ajax request so we need here comma all right so uh, that will send a post request actually we need to uh, pass the data so we need to create the data as well data note book data actually data must return an object and inside this object so notebook data will have uh, two fields uh, one will be name this is empty for now and body so uh, these names should match to the database name that will make task easier so name and body field all right so we created this data and we are returning the object all right so we are returning the uh, object here it has one property so notebook data and we want to bind these value to these field all right so that as we type the name it should update so we'll do that by v model notebook data dot name and similarly v model okay so now we need to do the post request to notebook actually notebook or notebooks yeah notebook so we are doing post request and we are passing this data notebook data okay which will got value whenever we type it here so after we pass the data and we'll get response here on all this, uh, just leave that blank and if there is any error we'll cast the error error and we'll log for now just error dot response okay so this is the front end part and let's go to uh, notebook controller where we have to create the uh, this so that slash create post request will hit this route sorry this method and here we'll create the notebook so first we have to get user so for now just uh, get the dumb user because we are not handling any authentication so we'll that uh, do that in our next video 
so for now just find the user one and create the notebook as this author so user notebook actually let's see we have this definition on our user model or not so if you go to user model uh, let's define that relationship between so user has many notebook let's define that notebook return this has many okay so after the, that is done we can create notebook so user notebook and create so let's return a message and here let's log that okay so now we are ready to test this okay now create let's dummy book this is dummy let's open the console as well okay let's submit notebook data not defined sorry about that this dot notebook data let's refresh so as you can see uh, we have no hash here because uh, I'm using this history mode uh, that will remove the hash sign but uh, when you reload it will give like this exception okay so if you if you haven't done that that shouldn't be issue on your side okay let's create again dummy let's go to network tab what's there oh user actually I always forget that so we need to import that class user refresh once again okay so this time success and if we go to home yeah it should create but yeah, it created at the bottom we can sort that out in our notebook index mm, just to here latest okay so let's do validation so here that's pretty easy so this validate request and let's make both required name required and body also required okay let's refresh and let's try without filling anything yeah so it's given uh, it's giving us this error mm. so if you go to data we can get these error so now let's uh, display those error just below here so let's go to form let's close other So whenever error is found, we are catching it here. So let's define new data called error. Errors. So this will be, so let's make it object, empty object. And whenever we found error, 
so if you see uh, the error is inside data okay so we'll dis uh, assign this object to error object so pretty simple this dot errors equals to response sorry error error dot response okay so let's uh, test this again so let's uh, see view tab this time so here body is empty name is empty as you type you can see name updates and body updates as well so error is empty and let's create some errors okay so now you can see error object contains these two these data so let's display them go to form and so inside this form group we'll create a span span with class text are danger so this will contain so errors dot let's see errors dot name so display the so if there is error uh, dot name will display errors dot name and first one otherwise empty so let's copy that and paste it okay let's check this again now we can see error now only for this all right so let's create okay so actually it created you can see here success uh, but it didn't reset these field also the error field also what we want is we want uh, this space to redirect to home okay so that we can see that okay so let's uh, do that again inside form so after uh, the response is successful we can remove this block so after uh, the response is successful what we want to do is mm, first thing we want to do is just remove uh, just empty the notebook data this star notebook data equals to empty also we want to empty the errors all right and we want to redirect user to home so uh, router this dot router dot push so this is the way you redirect to home okay so now that should work refresh submit yeah awesome okay so we'll extend this simple application next